Floor Phantom and Gravity. Both incredible b-boys, both edged out of the competition during the semifinals. Today, they're stepping into the octagon one last time to fight it out for third place. Prepare yourself to witness the battle for bronze in the arena. Previously on the arena. I don't want to start no beef, but we got the East Coast versus the West Coast. In semifinals number one, Morris was able to take out Floor Phantom by topping him in the footwork challenge. I think you stepped it up in adding more top rock in your footwork, and I applaud that. And the winner is Morris. Semi-finals number two, the crowd went crazy as El Nino and Gravity battled it out till the end. Both of you brothers are beasts, just straight up beasts. That was probably the hypest battle I've seen yet. And the winner is El Nino. So El Nino will meet Morris in the finals and lay it all on the line to see who will be the best all-around b-boy and champion of the arena. Our challengers today are no strangers to the arena. Having showcased their incredible skills in the quarter and semifinals, Floor Phantom and Gravity are about to show the crowd if they have any tricks left up their sleeves. I'm Angela Sun for D-Studio, and this is the No Holds Barred Battle for Third. Floor Phantom. The pressure's up there a little bit because of the lineup. But I'm not gonna say it, it, it adds more pressure to me because I've been around for a long time. And what you take away from this, from watching me or watching the arena or when you're watching this particular channel, I want you to take away that b-boys or DJs or MCs, we all, we all represent the same, the same cultural movement. But when you're looking into this world that it's full of fresh, young, revolutionary minds. And I want people to look into the b-boy scene. I want them to see that. We're culturally aware, we're spiritually aware, and we're politically aware, you know, and it's about making a difference. It's not about, you know, winning a battle. It's about being aware of what's happening in, in, around us today and understanding that we can make things better only if we try and if we just do it. So we have the power to do, to make the world what we want. Gravity. I live this lifestyle of a box, I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did the same thing. We all dressed exactly the same. And once I found b-boying, I was like, wow, I can do this. I can do whatever I want. Depending on who you battle, you know what I'm saying, you have to be able to show everybody that what they're doing is cool, but you can do it, and you can do better. I would never, like, hit somebody, but I have this persona. Like, I carry myself, like, in a, during a battle, like, don't come at me wrong, because I'll just punch in the face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's the way I carry myself, but I take it out on my moves. I do have a lot of aggression, probably too much aggression, but that's me. That's right! It's the battle for third place, are y'all ready? Let me introduce to you our battle for third place contestants. To my right, ready to rock's very own Floor Phantom. That's right, that's right. And you already know the dynamics. He brings it, he brings it hard. He defies gravity. What better name than that for my man, Gravity! This is NY versus NY. East Coast versus East Coast. Who's been rocking the longest? You have, what you calling? Heads. Yikes. Tails. Tails it is. Hit it! Three rounds, 30 seconds each.
Pressure and back, 30 seconds of his own. Definitely like you brought definitely something different. You did a lot of dimensions with your movement. Phantom, yeah, funky as always. I definitely was kind of looking for some explosion in there, you know. You guys both look like beasts out there. Gravity, fun, fresh, fun to watch. A lot of fun to watch what you do. Phantom, I like what you did your first run. Your rocks and your tops, you play the, the full round out with your rocking. You don't half step when you rock. You complete this session of the rock. You don't leave something, you don't leave your guns drawn and lay them down. You finish the whole thing. I appreciate that. Because that's something people don't understand, especially out west, is rocking. And you really bring that to this forum, which is important. Your top rock and your footwork is really funky and fly. And the only problem with that is that when you go up against somebody like him that has all these blow-ups and power moves, you inspire him to bring out whatever he can footwork-wise. So yeah, now I thought it was a funky battle. Very funky battle. I think that was the funkiest battle today. And the winner is... Gravity. Flips, I'm Angela Sun. We will check it back here next time. Peace.